Hey guys, what's up? Next up in my series of Christmas in July reviews is going to be of the newest DreamWorks animation, um, Halloween film, Mary Madagascar. Um, a little backdrop with this, this was originally planned, now this is again a mini sequel to Madagascar Escape to Africa, kind of a little tie over between this and the third Madagascar film, I think there's going to be one, I'm pretty sure. Um, I just have a little bit of plot twist. I think it actually kind of takes place in between this and Sh Ma Madagascar Escape to Africa, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure that's how it works out. But, um, anyway, um, in, um, in this movie, um, it kind of, um, takes place where they're gonna leave Madagascar on Christmas Eve before they head out to New York. They're leaving on Christmas Eve, hoping to get to, to home to, for Christmas. And uh, they all have this one Christmas wish where until the lemurs shoot them down thinking that they are some sort of red knight goblin aka Santa. Anyway, they find the real red knight goblin who attacks them with coal since they've all been naughty. Well, especially Julian. Um, anyway, Alex shoots him down and he gets amnesia. And um, he cannot remember who he is. So they try to list the help of um, the Santa's reindeer to help him out. To help deliver the presents, but apparently Skipper, the idiot that he is, tells him that they're a bunch of traitors. Seeing as though the reindeer are North Polars and the penguins are South Polars, and they have some sort of big rivalry. And um, apparently Private falls in love with one of them. He falls in love with the only female reindeer, Cupid. And uh, don't listen to don't listen to him, Private, because as Private would say it. Don't fall for that North Polar. She'll just spit you out like a cup of bad eggnog. Shut up, Skipper. Anyway, um, apparently they learn that, um, apparently they don't get the magic to fly from them. It's some sort of pixie dust that Private sprays all over himself. So they team up, and they hijack the sleigh, and they go out and deliver the gifts on their own, while Julian tries to keep Santa, you know, busy. Apparently he does the opposite of what he was told, and tries to convince Santa that it's the day time to celebrate Julianuary, which is a holiday named after him. And apparently he starts giving everyone else gifts and Julian says he ruined Julianuary and all their presents are his now. So they make so the they make a few a couple successful stops, although a couple of them are fail. But they do end up delivering all the gifts and after the end of the mall, um well let me get to this first. Um Julian starts feeling jealous for himself that you know he has them all and he's still not happy so what happens is he learns about the gift of giving from him from Santa although he still has amnesia by giving one to his uh, girlfriend Amelia who's just a deceased air pilot you know because they the airplane and um yeah so they make it back they deliver them all and then they find one sack left that was for them that's got um Marty's candy gems from Sylvia and they're still hot an inflatable hippo pool with chlorine for Gloria, uh, Melman's um, favorite psychiatrist's neck massager, and Alex getting a snow globe of New York City. However, they are faced with good news and bad news. Good news being that they have plenty of, of, of gas to get back to Madagascar, but the bad news is that's only enough to get there. So it's either Madagascar or home. So they decide to go back to Madagascar to get the sleigh back to, to Santa, hoping his memory has been restored. And they re-crash into him, regaining his memory, but, um, what happens is, um, they try to, they don't get enough time to ask him to get him back to, Ma to New York, but decide to celebrate Christmas there instead, and after Alex decides, uh, not Alex, Julian decides to have a coconut ball fight, they end up giving Alex amnesia, although we don't know how he got out of that one. <sighs> I hate you, Julian. Anyway, I've now spent, like, four minutes on just ranting about what the episode's about. Let's get on to the case. Um, now, something I should mention is that both of these, surprising how long it takes me to, to mention them, uh, tell you about them, they each run for 22 minutes long, 30 minutes with commercials when they're aired on television. Um, let's have a look at the case art. Um, let me just pan out a little bit. It does say up here, widescreen, full screen, in a green font. Hence, it, because, you know, you don't have to worry about buying multiple formats. DreamWorks Mary Madagascar, you got a little photo of Santa up here. You got um, Mar Alex, Gloria, Marty, and Melman, and you've got uh, Julian there hitchhiking in the back. 
and the penguins, they look the same. I'm gonna try to figure out which one of them is which. Um, I'm just gonna assume that's Skipper, Rico, Kwaski, and I'm pretty sure that's Private. I can recognize these two. I'm pretty sure that's Rico, and I'm pretty sure that's Kwask. That's uh, Skipper. I could be wrong. I'm not sure. On the side there, you've got the logo again with, with Alex down there with the hat. On the back here, you've got another couple other photos. Um, you got a little description up here on the top, which I'll go ahead and read. When saying this reindeer crashed on the island of Madagascar, it's up to Alex, Marty, Gloria, and Melman, and those wacky penguins to save Christmas. Get ready for a slate full of laughs in this hilarious new holiday classic. You got um, them there in front of the sack of gifts, and you got Julian there. Surprisingly, in all but one of the photos of him, he is crownless. I mean, he's got a little uh, New Year hat in this photo, but other than that, though, he's pretty much hatless, crownless. You got a couple photos down there. You've got um, five of, of Santa's reindeer. You've got Julian with Santa. Even you've got Private with Cupid. Love birds. Well, literally, because it's Private with bird. Um, special features include um, post Kung Fu Panda Virtual World, um, Shrek Broadway musical debut, which I have seen. Um, if it does come on tour here to Florida, I will give you an update. And this feature is rather old. Um, how to Train Your Dragon, the next 3D adventure from DreamWorks Animation, which is just a 30 second promo advertising How to Train Your Dragon, which nowadays is an old film, which not, no one really talks about. But it will be coming out on DVD and Blu-ray pretty soon. Um, open it up. Again, just like with the other one, um, it's just a pale disc with just an embossed logo. I wish I had a little photo of Santa Claus, like right there. That would have been nice, but um, it doesn't. Um, now, originally this television special was aired on November 16th, 2009 on NBC and ABC. No, wait, it was just NBC. And then it was released on DVD one day later, but there was a backdrop. It was only available as a Walmart exclusive, and that's where I got mine. Um, it was about $15 then. Um, I actually, when I went to Walmart last Saturday, I happened to see like two or three of these in the DVD discount box. Nowadays, um, the only place when the stores are actually going to restock these is when they're selling them at the holiday time, which is... I've actually wanted to get the Christmas Time and South Park DVD. I put that in my wish list on my Amazon account, so that way I remember it for the uh, holidays when it starts when they start selling them. Um, anyway, I highly recommend these movies if you can find them. I, I say wait for, till November when they're a little bit cheaper. Because, you know, it'll be the holidays. But if you want to get them, like, at a cheap price, pick them up now. But until then, I recommend you wait a little while and then buy them when they're new on DVD. I'm not sure if these are still Walmart. If this one is still a Walmart exclusive, I know that this isn't. But I'm pretty sure this is still a Walmart exclusive. If it is, um, you'll be able to save it, buy a safe, spend 15 bucks, or go digging through the $5 discount bin and you'll probably find a copy. Um, I guess that's really it. Later, guys. I'm out of here. Oh, and, uh, thank you again to Chris Pianoli for the, uh, Christmas in July thought. Subscribe to him. Link is down there in the description. Um, he's a great guy. I guess that's really about it. Later, guys. I'm out of here, and Merry Christmas in July.